Hi guys, I'm making this video to explain why bearded dragons are not beginner pets or beginner reptiles and they're just not beginner pets. Here we have dogs who have trained to understand that this is also a pet. I would never leave him unsupervised. But you can, as you can see, even though these dogs are part terrier and poodle and chihuahua and shih tzu, shih tzu, <laughs> they understand this is a pet. They are not going after him like prey. Everyone's chilling. Like I said, I would not leave him alone, though. But see, he, they get, this is a pet. This is an, a fellow pet. Okay? Now, I'm going to explain to you why these animals are not um, beginner pets. I need to blend my makeup, but I'll do that later. Um, okay. These animals, bearded dragons, um, are not beginner pets in any way, shape, or form. They require a lot of love and attention. A beginner pet to me, as someone who has owned a X racehorse and I'm an intuitive with animals and people because I'm an empath. <laughs> I am empath. This isn't about me though. But it takes a special kind of person to take care of a, an animal like this because you have to be intuitive. Okay. Um, they don't have vocal cords so they can't like cry or whine like a cat or a dog to let you know if they're hurting. Um, they have to have the proper lighting for warmth so they can digest their food and grow properly, as well as um, the proper heat so that they can digest their food because they cannot regulate their own body temperatures. They are also love doves. They like lots of attention um, we just did his morning ritual where I, um, I saw he was awake. So I took him into the bathtub so he'd go to the bathroom. Um, once he did that, washed the bathtub out, um, cleaned it all up, sanitized it, gave him another bath. Then I gave him another bath, an iodine, for his tail so that we can save his tail because he must have gotten nipped. As you can see, it's darker. And we're working on, I'm working on saving his tail. Okay. Um, they eat live bugs. If you don't want to deal with the bugs, and breeding bugs, you're not going to want to deal with these guys. <laughs> I have to make him a salad every morning. I'm very bonded to this little guy, but when my son, we said he could pick out a pet, he picked this little guy out, okay? He was so tiny, and he's still tiny for a bearded dragon, but he's much bigger now. I had no idea about these guys. I've always loved lizards, or as I call them, lizards. <laughs> lizards. Because <laughs> there's lots of lizards in Arizona. And I've always enjoyed, when I was a kid, enjoyed catching um, the little lizards that run along the wall. And, um, you know, have, having them in a little container for a few hours and trying to put up a little habitat with dirt and grass and trying to find them bugs. And that I was end up having to let them go. But um, the tag reptile, you know, people think they don't have emotions and stuff. This is completely false. Um, birds are technically reptiles and they have emotions. Some can even speak. This guy can't, but if he could, he would. And he has that emotional and um, higher level thinking so but he just doesn't have vocal cords 
I can't stress enough that these are not beginner reptiles. Um, this guy requires a lot of attention and a lot of care. So I ended up becoming his caregiver because when we got him home and I did my research, I was like, wow, okay. And we've formed a very close bond and he's in good hands, but please, please, please do your research before you get one of these animals. Luckily, even though I didn't do the research before I let my son, because we were just gonna let him pick out whatever pet he wanted. My son has grown up, um, even as a child, he's seen, we've always had lots of pets. And um, when my son was little, we had a bunch of 20 something year old poodles and a very old French bulldog. And he saw each one of them pass away because of old age. And he, he, he already understands grief and loss. And he, he's very, very compassionate towards animals. But this, this pet is too high maintenance for him at 10 years old. And if you're getting um, a bearded dragon for a youngin, you're going to have to be there to help them and to educate them, if not completely take over their care and then just let them enjoy giving them kisses and cuddles. And um, they need to be kept very clean so that they don't get salmonella. And so that you don't get salmonella. He gets baths daily, sometimes twice daily. Um, so it helps him go to the bathroom. He does not want, they don't like to go to the bathroom in their cages. You should not let them go to the bathroom in their cages. Um, they don't like their own poop. And let me tell you, their poop is on another level. You've never experienced poop like the poop of a bearded dragon. It has a stank on it that could be used for warfare. Okay. <laughs> so, um, they don't like their own poop. They don't want to be around it. They want nothing to do with it. So you have to be very in tune with your animal. The signs they give you when they have to go to the bathroom. I'm not going to tell you all this stuff. Um, well, for, I'll just tell you. My dude, we're very in tune. I know when he has to go to the bathroom. Usually he has to go at 1030 on the dot. But this morning he went around 8.30. Sometimes he switches it up a bit. Sometimes he'll poop once a day. Sometimes he'll poop twice. It all depends, you know? Um, and if your pet has a medical emergency, you can't just go to the regular vet. You have to take them to an exotic pet vet, okay? That specializes in reptiles. Um, these are not something that you just get and you just put on display and you throw them their food. You could do that, but you'd be an animal abusing jerk. Do you want to be that? No. So, um, I saw a video on YouTube recently that said, I didn't watch it because I'm very sensitive about animals and people, and, but it said, the title of the video was animal, Ble animal abuse on YouTube is getting out of control. And, uh, I think a lot of there's, I think there's a problem with people getting exotic pets and pets in general, just for views and likes and clicks. And that's not what's, what's going on here. Um, I've grown up with, Pets always, like I said, I, 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 <laughs> I have gifts, okay, when it comes to animals that God gave me to be very intuitive and in touch with them, whether it be a dog, a cat, a horse, or him, or a guinea pig, whatever, hamster. I would suggest if you are gifted with being intuitive with animals, this is the kind of pet that um, will be happy with you. And um, like when I went to the Kings of Leon concert and I was 
gone for many hours. When I got back, he was sad and depressed because I wasn't able to do his nightly rituals. You know, I take him out every night and I show him the little twinkly bells and I swaddle him in his little baby blanket. They, they sell like little blankets for guinea pigs and stuff. And that's, uh, he has a bunch of those. So I put a bunch of those down and then I swaddle him every single night. It's like a, having a baby that never comes out of babyhood. <laughs> and so if you're not ready for that, don't get one of these guys. And if you are ready, I would strongly suggest that you adopt one because many have been surrendered because people realize they're in over their head. And I respect that they, oops, sorry, honey. I respect that they surrender their animals, you know, um, but um, you don't want to have to end up doing that, you know? So, and for the love of God, don't get them and breed them. There's plenty of them. And there's plenty of them in shelters that need homes. Just look online. And, um, there's many that just need a loving home again, you know? So, uh, it's just a public service announcement. There's a lie that's being told that bearded dragons make great beginner pets, great beginner reptiles. This is not true in any way, shape or form. So I just hope I've made myself clear for the love of little guys like this, um, for the love of animals, um, I made this video, okay? Um, hope I've made myself clear. I'm not trying to be a jerk. It's just because I love animals so much that I, I want to dispel that myth that these guys make great beginner pets. They don't. They are high maintenance. High maintenance for your time, your love, your compassion, your care, your money. Um, okay. If you have, I'm a stay-at-home mom of a human child and many pets. And my mom and dad and son also help out with the care of all these pets. So if you're someone that works or something... I think I've made myself clear. Um, you gotta have a lot of time. You gotta have a natural gift with animals to be able to give one of these animals, a, a bearded dragon, a happy home. Okay? So, I love you guys. God bless you guys. And as Bailey Sarian would say, make wise choices. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. Have a great day. Blessings in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Say bye, Peter. And what do we want them to know? I am not a beginner pet. I am like a baby that never grows up. I like to be swaddled at night. And sometimes I like a couple baths a day. And yeah. So if you're ready for 15 years of infancy, then I'm the one for you. Okay, everyone have a great day. Talk to you guys later. Love you.